in high level, you can white label it. You can apply your brand to the software. It takes less than 10 minutes. We are in a crazy new generation of possibility here where now you can effectively private label a software. We're off to the races. Here's the thing, Matt. When people are getting started with high, with high level, it can be really, really overwhelming because it isn't just a simple platform anymore. It is massively robust. So if someone's just getting started, like where do they even go? Like what did, what's step one? I think one of the starting points for high level that's worth noting is this idea of white labeling. That could be a completely new concept for folks. I like to draw the parallel between other areas that you may, you know, may be more familiar with. So if I go onto Amazon and I search for a USB charger, I will see hundreds of options that you're like, these look like they're the same thing. They're basically the same thing with a slightly different logo. I don't know if you've experienced that before. In, in the e-commerce space, in the product space, this is called private label where there are factories, they churn out products and they say, hey, you can contract with us, you can buy in bulk, we'll put your color on there, your logo, and it becomes private label. So in effect, it's the same product, whether you go with company A or company B, and the companies end up competing on things that aren't necessarily the foundational product. They compete on brand, they compete on support, they compete on testimonials, they compete on social proof. The product's the same. They compete on those other ways. And so they supplement and complement the product uh, to build their brand, to build an entire business on this private label way. White label is the term that effectively means the same thing, but is more common with software, where you can take the software brand and replace the the logo, the colors, even the URL that it's accessed from. So in effect, it's your brand now. The foundation, totally the same, same functionality, same core you know, tools there, but now it's your brand. And so for anybody who's using high level and intending it for your customers, it's important to, one, understand what white label means. And uh, then it, I, what I want to do is if, if, you're, if you're listening, I'll talk through it. If you're actually seeing and join us on, on YouTube, uh, I'm going to share my screen so you can actually see uh, what it looks like inside of, the, inside of the tool itself. So While you're pulling that up, that's a really good analogy. I, I, I've done a lot of private labeling in the physical product space, and um, it is interesting. It's, it's more considered white label here, um, but what a neat you know, opportunity for people to expand their brand. Exactly. And and it means the same thing. They're kind of interchangeable. It's just different areas, more commonly used frames or, you know, phrases. The, from your dashboard, when you first sign into high level, you have two dimensions. There's the agency dashboard view, which has more of like the managing your accounts. And then there's sub accounts. These sub accounts are, in effect, all of the useful aspects of the software. So even if you only have it for yourself, you'll have two views. You'll have kind of like the management overview, call it like the, the admin portal, they call it the agency dashboard area. And then there's the sub accounts, which you may have your own business in. So if I've got my own brand, even if it's the brand that I am selling and licensing this to other folks, that's going to exist inside of a sub account. So there's going to be a sub account for that brand. That's where I'll do all the, the marketing stuff, the communication, the funnels, all the sort of stuff. On the agency or kind of the admin view, that's where I'm doing more of the you know large scale management. You can see they'll report on finances. You can uh, do things like configuring plans and stuff like that. This is also where you've got a settings area, which that's referred to as like agency settings. So if I go to agency settings and then to company settings, this is where there is a a ton of options there, but specifically this one that they call a white label domain. So the white label domain, this is where you can change what it, what the URL that it's used to log into your instance of high levels. So this is one of the key aspects of white labeling. And so for your customers, they won't, they don't have to log in on app.gohighlevel.com. You don't even have to log in for on app.gohighlevel.com. You can use your own brand, your own domain. And so in my example, we have our demo account called the demo account and we have app.thedemoaccount.com. That's where I log in to this demo account. And it's all possible by sort of like a two-step, very simple process. You type in the domain you want to use. This is the actual you know, URL that you'll use to log in. So typically it's a subdomain. Right? Usually that's the app portion. So app.mydomain.com. And then you put in one simple record into your DNS manager. This is... My most preferred is inside of Cloudflare. I've got tons of trainings on YouTube that kind of help you understand specifically what's going on here. 
But even if you understand DNS a little bit, it's one record. It's one CNAME record that you point whatever your you know domain is. So if it's if it's app that subdomain, you just type in app or app dot you know your domain, and then where is it targeted to? I believe it's app dot dot com. It's that simple. One record pointed to app dot. It's kind of an abbreviation with no vowels of read sort of like message center.com. You add that one record from a DNS perspective, and now your entire account can run on your domain. Um, and that's that's a really cool feature of high levels. You can assume your branding on there. You'll see, or if you're listening, there are other options in terms of stylizing your accounts. Um, if you're following along with me, you may see this looks very different. This is a, a cool tool that we have and, and use from, uh, from HL Pro Tools. And it allows you to uh, quickly sort of like adjust the theme. Even if you're not using a supplemental tool like the theme builder here, High Level has some uh, native functionality where you can choose between like a light mode and a dark mode. And you can put in custom CSS. If you're familiar with that, um, you can inject that code right into the platform to change out any any sort of aspect of it. But um, yeah, if you're using something like you're seeing here, this is just a quick and easy, cool tool that makes it um, just fast and cool and easy to apply a different theme, change your colors, change your logos, um, stuff like that. But in general, the key thing to understand is that in high level, you can white label it. You can apply your brand to the software. It's just, It takes... <laughs> less than 10 minutes to add one record, decide on what you want, and you can change out where people log into it and, uh, and, and the look and the feel and the aesthetic of it. And in the same way that you see, I mean, we've seen million, tens of millions, $100 million brands built on Amazon by private labeling. We are in a crazy new generation of possibility here where now you can effectively private label, they call it white labeling, a software. And uh, just the possibilities are super exciting, whether it's just for your own, you know, maintaining, you know, your own brand if you're using it internally or uh, to be able to resell that brand and build up that brand value in the same way we talked about from the beginning, like you're going to compete on service, you're going to compete on, uh, you know, your own marketing, your messaging and, um, you know, your, your social proof, your reviews, all those things that can set you apart, even though the foundation is effectively the same. 